Have you ever thought about what bees eat? I mean, you might say, oh, they eat flowers. Well, yeah, they do. But it's not like, not like a caterpillar just noshing on the flowers, right? What they get from flowers is they get pollen and nectar. Well, what's pollen and nectar? Pollen is basically sugar water. They just suck it out of the flower with their long tongues. Ooh. Hello, girls. And with that nectar, they like to eat it. That's one of their favorite things to eat. It gives it its sugar. So it is basically carbohydrates that gives them the energy to do all their flying. Without being able to eat that high sugar diet, they don't, just wouldn't have the energy to do what they need to do. So that's the that's what the flowers give them. Now they also take in pollen. Pollen is the protein that they use to feed their babies. But they don't just they don't just simply take protein and pollen and just eat it. That's not how it works. They actually take the pollen and they convert it into bee bread. Look at this girl right here. See, she's got on the back of her leg, oops, she just flew. She had a bunch of pollen in her pollen baskets back there. She carries it back to the nest like that. Now, bee bread is basically pollen. The bees will pack it into a cell in the, in the honeycomb and they will mix it with some enzymes. And that's what they feed to their baby girls. So pollen and nectar. But that's not all. There's another thing that bees eat, and that's called, oh nice. This queen is doing really good. I keep, I see a lot of young larvae in there. Haven't spotted her yet. Don't really have to, because this, this hive is looking really healthy. Okay, so where was I? Talking about royal jelly. Royal jelly is fed to the queen, and the bees produce it, they use bee bread, they use nectar, they use a bunch of enzymes. It's full of vitamins, lipids, fats, minerals, all the things she needs. Golly, that's nice. And genetically, a Worker bee is exactly the same as a queen bee, but the difference is when the bees take a larvae of the correct age and feed that larvae a diet of royal jelly, she'll, it'll actually convert a worker bee into a queen bee. Now she's fed royal jelly all of her life. And it's good. Now, royal jelly, a lot of people believe that royal jelly is health, helpful for humans, too. It tastes kind of bitter. Um, my wife has uh, certainly uh, bought a lot of it for us to eat over the years. It is very healthy, but a lot of ancient people knew about royal jelly and, and believed in its health properties. Ancient Greeks, for example, not only did they eat it, their wealthy people did, but also ancient Greeks believed that the royal jelly was what gave their gods immortality. My goodness, I'm going to have to put another box on these girls pretty soon. Oh, very nice. I still didn't see the queen, but I wasn't looking real hard for her. Nice hive here. Um, queen Elizabeth of England, she's famous for eating royal jelly because she thinks it helps her with her fatigue, and it probably does. The, cha the ancient Chinese knew about it. So, 
Royal jelly is another thing that the bees eat. Certain bees eat anyway. Now, the last thing isn't as nice. These bees, they're not carnivorous. They're not considered meat eaters. They are mostly herbivores, you know, plant eaters, what I just told you. But at certain times, bees will actually eat the, the larva, the brood. So you might see it more up north than down here, but say you have an early cold snap and a bunch of brood are killed. They're, in, when it gets cold, the bees will form up into a ball for warmth. They'll keep the queen protected. Um, the larva, some of them might die off. And so the bees will take them out and clean them and take them out of the hive so they don't rot in the hive. But the, um, if, there's, if there's a lot of hunger going on, they'll actually consume the larva for the protein. But they don't eat other meat. Now wasps, hornets, that sort of thing, they eat other meats. They'll, they'll actually eat carrion. Bees are clean, beautiful little critters, but that's what they eat. Nectar, honey. Oh, honey, I should have talked about honey. Honey's the other thing they eat. So, they really like to eat nectar. They'll stick it in the cells and they'll consume it. But the problem with eating nectar and having it in the hive is that it uh, ferments and it'll spoil. So they'll convert the nectar into honey. Now what honey is, well, the way they do honey is they'll, they put a little bit of enzymes into the honey, into the nectar when they put it in the cells, and then they stand over it and fan their wings. Thousands of bees will be fanning their wings over that open cell of honey. And they'll dehydrate it. They'll move the moisture out of it. And so when they can reduce the moisture level, remember this is sugar water. When they reduce the moisture level, level down to 17, 18% water content, moisture content, then they'll cap it over and they can use it for long-term storage. Now bees do eat honey, they like it, but given a choice, these girls would much, much prefer to take the, um, to take the uh, nectar over the over the honey but their instinct is to pack in excess honey so that if there's a dearth there's no flowers blooming over the winter time this is more true up north than it is down here in Florida they have that supply of, of honey now look right down there see all see all the pollen on the legs of these girls the back leg of their of the bee is um, got these hairs on it so when they go into a flower, they'll suck the nectar, and they'll get pollen all over them, even on their eyes, which has hairs on it too. And then they'll take their, their legs and they'll, they'll scrape that pollen down and, and stash it onto a kind of a Velcro patch they have on their back legs, and that's they call the honey baskets. So these girls are finding a lot of nice flower pollen out there. And this is a good day. All right, this is Bruce. Thanks.